Hi everyone, in this video, I am trying to troubleshoot this problem that I am facing in the lab environment. I am trying to connect to the storefront portal and I am trying to launch the virtual desktop and it is throwing some kind of error message. Let me try to launch this application and see how it goes. So it doesn't throw any kind of error message, but it just keeps loading. So let's see what, what is going to happen. Okay, it just keeps loading. Uh, let's do one thing. Let's check the status of this machine on the back end. Okay, so this is the machine, VDI03. And if you look here, the machine is in unregistered state. Let me just refresh once. Because sometimes it, it takes a while for the machine to come to the registered state. So it's always good to re refresh once and see how it, how it goes. Okay, the machine is still in unregistered state. Yeah, it's an unregistered state. So it says the power state is on. It means that the machine is on. If you see here, if you see here, this is the VDA machine. This is the Zen, Zen server environment and the machine is on. Okay. But for some strange reason, the machine is in unregistered state. So let's do one thing. Let's try to uh, connect to this machine and see how it goes. Okay. So let's try, let's try to take, okay, let's try to connect to this machine. I'm trying to take RDP to this machine. Okay, it throws this error message. It says remote desktop can't connect to the remote computer for one of these reasons. Remote access to the server is not enabled. Computer is turned off. Uh, actually, the machine is already on, so this shouldn't be the problem. The remote desktop, the remote computer is not available on the network. The machine is already available on the network. Let's do one thing. Let's try to connect with the IP address and see how it goes. 192.168.160.2.1 160.203 okay this should be the ip address okay it is asking for the password so let's try to log in and see how it goes okay let's try to connect to this machine so we are trying to take rdp to the vdia machine to see if the services are good or not and we can also check other things Okay, so we logged into the machine successfully. Uh, let's do one thing. Let us try to check the services quickly. Okay, so these are the services. So let me expand this. Okay, so these are the services. Uh, let's look for Citrix uh, desktop service. Okay. Okay, if you see here, I could see Citrix telemetry service. And if you see here, Citrix desktop service is in stop state. Okay, if you see here, Citrix desktop service is in stop state. So what is Citrix desktop service? Citrix desktop service, manages the communication between the delivery controller and the virtual desktops. It handles initial brokering of connections, settings for connections and interaction with sessions. So we have to make sure that Citrix desktop service is already, I mean, it is always in started state. So let's try to uh, start the service and see how it goes. Okay, if you see now, the machine is in I'm sorry, the service is in running state. Now let's do one thing. Let's quickly, uh, let's quickly go back and try to launch the VDA machine and see how it goes. Okay, so this is the VDA machine. 
since we have started the Citrix desktop service, let's try to launch the machine and see how it goes. Okay, it still says cannot start desktop help desk. This is strange because we have already started the desktop service, then it should launch automatically. But seems like there is some kind of issue. Okay, let's uh, go back to uh, the machine. Okay, let's minimize this. Okay, so this is the machine. Let me minimize this. Okay, let me refresh this and see how it goes. It is still in unregistered state. Let me refresh once because we have started the desktop service. Let's see if the status changes to registered state or not. Okay, if you see here, previously the status was unregistered. Now the status has changed to registered state. Okay, so there is a communication between Citrix delivery controller and the and this uh, video machine. So let's do one thing. Let's try to launch the machine and see how it goes. Okay, because the machine is in reg registered state. Let's try to click and see how it goes. Okay, seems like it is trying to launch. All right, seems like we logged in successfully. Yes, we logged in successfully. Uh, without any issues so we solve this problem so basically the Citrix uh, desktop service was in uh, stop state so whenever you come across these kind of issues it's always good to check from the uh, machine side like you can log into the video machine and see the services and you can check the firewall settings and all these things to make sure the communication is happening fine between the controller and the video machine so once the machine goes to registered state uh, you should be able to launch the video machine without any issues okay i hope you find this information helpful i'll catch you in the next video bye bye